Father, in the powerful name of Jesus Christ, whatever oil that anybody has presented because a prophet instructed that they should come out with their oil, wherever they are with that oil, I prophesy the power of possibility to come upon that oil wherever you are and wherever you have that oil. I prophesy the hand of Jehovah, the finger of the Lord to touch that oil and begin to bring about a total visitation that will bring about a total turnaround that will bring about the answer to your prayer, that will bring about the fulfillment of your desire. Let that oil from now on be changed by the Lord Jesus. Let whatever is called man made inside that oil be removed and let it be spiritual oil. I prophesy it become the spiritual oil from the Holy Spirit. That that oil you will anoint the sick, the oil will bring healing to the sick. You will anoint people in the church and the people in the church will receive miracles. You will anoint yourself, favor will come upon you. You will anoint your business and the business will begin to flourish. You will anoint everything that is in your hands, the project that is called abandoned project, those projects will revive and begin to move on. It will anoint whatever you want to anoint that oil for. The miracle of God will take over. The power of God will take over. The spirit of God will take over. The hand of God will take over. In the name of Jesus, every power that contend with you, by the reason of this anointing, the powers of darkness, bow for your sake. Every spiritual forces, every satanic influence, whatever from the pit of hell against you, be destroyed by fire, be crushed by the Holy Ghost, take over the Holy Spirit, begin to break every yoke, begin to dismantle every mountain of failure, mountain of disappointment, everything that ever rises against you, whatever mountain that oppose your life, by the reason of this anointing, the yoke shall be broken and you will have a new song in your mouth to sing and everything will turn around for your good, for the glory of God, the hand of the Lord, the power of the Lord, the spirit of the Lord is coming upon you, superpower, the superpower, the superpower, the power for the Lord to visit you. Let the Lord visit you. Let the Holy Spirit visit you. Let the Lord visit you and bring you out of every miracle. Bring you out of every setback. Bring you out of every delay. As you are going to anoint yourself, the Bible says, old things pass away and all become new. Whatever is old in your life, whatever does not allow the fresh things to happen, whatever does not allow the newness of your life, the glory of your life, the blessings of your life, whatever hinder you in the time past, every battle you are having, every court case you are having, every issue in the court, every tribunal issue, tribunal issue, every tribunal issue that you are having that issue is already settled by fire for the hand of the Lord is stretched to where you are Rakata pashin kata la pakata pata, rika pakata upra kata pakata sakata pakata, prakata pakata pakata pata. I pray on that oil that the Lord will make that oil a spiritual oil to bring healing, to bring deliverance, to bring liberation, to bring a turnaround, to bring the mighty hand of Jehovah that will cause that anointing that break the yoke to fall upon you now and end every sorrow in your life, every sickness, every pain every frustration every bad luck whatever is not of god in your life makuse kete para parakuka kasuka tanka mens kontoko proliga tabarasa prokoto poko poko basika tabradika ta makala poko to prokoto shata prakata pakata lapata i break every chain of the devil i break every manipulation of the enemy i break every influence of the devil makuto suka prakita kata proko poshakata prakita pakasupra prakita prakita pakata prakita prakita pakata prokoto poko poko prakapa pataisa prakita pakata pata you are free you are delivered you are liberated those issues in your life you have prayed and prayed and prayed and no answer that sickness you have tried on medication no answer that matter that have lingered in your life it is time for the anointing that break your yoke that the Lord may set to your case that the Lord may set to your case the Lord will set to your case in the name of Jesus Christ
in Jesus powerful name I pray in the mood of this prayer I decree for those who are in one problem or the other to come out of that problem those who are under bondage in one way or the other the Lord set them free those who are captured under captivity the Lord set them free let there be good news of freedom good news of freedom let there be good news of freedom i want to hear the good news of freedom that those who are in chain are released that those who are in prison are freed that man in prison be released now it is time for the prison to give up it is time for prison to give up whatever matter it may be it is time for you to be free it is time for your liberation anointing that break the yoke begin to break the yoke of failure yoke of poverty yoke of sickness yoke of attacks yoke of set back yoke of hindrance yoke of a married life yoke of childlessness yoke of fruitfulness yoke of lack of progress yoke of set back every atom of yoke the anointing that break the yoke on oh, no. a to enter and break the yoke the anointing that break the yoke every atom of yoke katuka pakatakasa mekono ponko to proko posha barakata pakatu basakata i command every yoke be broken now rikatoshki prakata pa rakapoko to shinka prakata pa prakata pakata prakata pakata pa proko to ponko to pa prakita pa shinka ta prakata pa masente ka proko basa makula poko to prakata ta prakata pa proko poto poto ko shinka ta Pacata, Proco Poco Poco Posa, Proco Poca Pata Paca, Proco Poto Copa Capa, Preca Poto Pogosa, Pracata Pacata Papo, Preca Pampa Pacatapa, Preca Teca 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 de Propo Bosica Tapata. Anything they say you cannot do. Whatever they say you cannot do, whatever the enemy have been using to manipulate you, to hinder you, to say it is impossible that you cannot do, the Lord enter into action. As you say amen to this prayer, your life never remains the same. Let there be spiritual ladder for you to climb up and possess your position. Let there be spiritual ladder for you to possess your position. Let there be spiritual ladder for you to climb up and stay on the top. Let there be spiritual ladder that will help you to get to where you're going in the name of Jesus, let the ladder of the Lord be released upon your life. And everything turn around for good. For the Lord is in the business of blessing his people. You are blessed, you are favored, you are lifted, you are catapulted to next level. No more will your life be abandoned. No more will frustration face you. No more will delay come to your life. No more, there will be no more hindrance. There will be no more delay. Anointing break the yoke. I speak power in that oil. I speak spiritual power, power of the Holy Ghost in that oil. That oil change from ordinary oil to spiritual oil. When you rub yourself or you anoint yourself or you drink of it or you use it for any purpose, is it that key kakaso koto proko pakade? Mele kupara si katala ku sekente. Melu zekira bakatora basuka pratala bata. Me kotala proko sente kere. And the prayer said, I will look up to the hill from where has come my help. My help come from the Lord who made the heaven and the earth. And he will not let me fall. Your protection will always be awake. The Lord will continue to set you free for he that keepeth Israel never sleep nor slumber in the mighty name of Jesus Christ as the mountains surround Jerusalem so the Lord surround his people and so the hand of the Lord remain upon you, remain upon your family in the name of God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit Jesus powerful name I pray, Amen God bless you mightily in Jesus name Another thing I want you to know is that that oil is no more the oil you bought. That oil now is a gift from the Holy Spirit given to you. Now, as you have received that oil, the oil is just a gift from the Holy Spirit to anoint yourself, to anoint your home, to anoint your family, to anoint your business, to anoint your children, to anoint your anything at all that concerns you, you anoint it. The purpose of that anointing is that every impossibility around you will be made possible. And I want to let you know that that oil now is no longer maybe Goya or maybe extra virgin olive oil or whatever oil they call it or granite oil is no more. It is called possibility oil. That oil is possibility oil. If anybody is sick around you, anoint the person. Then as the Lord has blessed that oil, after this prayer is afraid finish now immediately i close you take your seed for that oil and cast 
So the church account that we display here, use it as your seed of oil, seed of anointing, seed oil. Tomorrow, for those of you who did not get the oil, tomorrow I am coming to bless again. If you have anybody that is your brother or your sister or your neighbor or your friend that you want him or her to have this oil, you are also entitled to get one when I pray on it tomorrow and after blessing the tomorrow own, you can send it to your friend, send it to your brother, send it to your neighbor, send it to anybody. Tell them that this oil is blessed by major prophet. Major prophet. I'm not talking about uh, coming to say I pray in the oil. I'm talking about spiritual oil. I'm talking about the oil has become a spiritual oil. So whatever purpose you use that oil, you are the one to come back and testify. And make sure that you sow your oil seed towards that oil. God will continue to bless every one of you. In Jesus' powerful name, I pray. Amen. Oh.